Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Today is going to be another day of me working on this amazing Mercedes W115. I have to do the diesel purge on it. I have a fuel filter, both fuel filters to replace on it. And yeah, let's get started. Uh, I've done a lot of videos on how to do the diesel purge, so I'm not going to go thoroughly into that. You guys can check out my channel for more. Before we start this video, I just want to say thank you to one of my subscribers, uh, Mark. Thank you so much for all these gifts. He gave me a snap-on uh, drill and two batteries, a charger, and also snap-on uh, screwdriver right here. So thank you so much, Mark. This is going to be really useful and helpful. I really appreciate everything. Um, and yeah, let's get started on this. To this, let's go. <laughs> let's get back to this video. Sheesh. Okay, so I've got a brand new fuel filter. Uh, I have a pre-filter as well, and I have a clean container that I'm gonna be using. Uh, I'm gonna be pouring the uh, diesel purge in it. And I'm pretty sure sometimes you need more than one can, but I think one can is gonna be enough for this car. And uh, yeah, uh, this is like way overdue. I don't know when this has been done, but I really need to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect this return hose. I'm gonna submerge it into the that um container and also disconnect the other end and actually i'm gonna have to use another piece of a long fuel hose in order to be able to reach that filter um because uh, this card's a little more tricky so i have this used hose and i'm gonna attach it to that filter and i'm gonna attach the other end to the container also, before you do anything, you need to cover the everything underneath from any spillage of the fuel spillage because it's going to cause the engine mount to go bad and whatever other rubber is around. So make sure you put this uh, cover protection underneath of there. Okay, guys, so I have everything set up. So this hose is a return hose right here with a clamp. And then this long one goes to the pre-filter right there. And then that pre-filter goes to the... Uh, the lift pump and injection pump. So let's go ahead and pour this amazing stuff. We're gonna ready, be ready to start this engine. Okay, this is all ready to go. Now I need to reach my hand in there and pump the lift pump a couple times so pre-filter can get the fuel. And that pre filter is gonna make sure that this stays submerged. And then this return line stays here. Okay. A few moments later. There we go. And that's how we roll. And then I'm going to be running it at idle right now. And later on, I will uh, increase the speed. To run it at a higher RPMs. But yeah, we're going to see how dirty this uh, fuel injection pump is. I gotta tell you one thing that this fuel system is pretty clean so maybe they did the diesel purge sometime not too long ago but it's okay still to do it make sure it's all good to go so yeah so i'm almost done doing the purge and as you can see the fluid is really clean so that's really really good that means she's been really clean inside of the fuel injection pump. 
but yeah after this I'm gonna change the fuel filters and yeah she's gonna be good to go okay so shut this off now we can start reconnecting everything and replacing fuel filters okay so we're gonna take the old fuel filter out this is why you need that trash bag over there so diesel doesn't go on top of your rubber parts and mounts and doesn't damage anything here's the new fuel pre-filter it's gonna go on make sure you get the angled one well maybe in your case you don't need an angled one but in my case the way the hoses are i kind of need the angled one yeah my old one was the angled one so this one is also angled one because they have the ones that go straight like both nipples are straight this one is angled So after installing your fuel filter there, we're gonna pump this and primer pump. Until fuel shows up right there. Okay, so it became difficult to pump. That means it's all good now. Okay, as you can see, fuel filter is all got diesel in it okay now we're gonna move on to this big filter i'm gonna clean the area with soap and water all this area the hoses make sure there's no diesel on them okay and then we're gonna use water to rinse it off make sure everything is tightened up before you do this okay loosen this bolt and then this lifts off that's your filter right there okay so this uh, crush washer this is the crush washer actually it's the part number right there I use that and there's the new filter and it's got the seal too. You also got the brand new seal that goes right over there. New filter is already installed. New seal is on, ready to close this up. So far, so good, no leaks. Just gotta rinse it off a little more with soapy water. The old filter wasn't too bad, honestly. A little bit sad because whoever was screwing the license plate in before they went too deep and just left uh you know some damage from that but that's okay you can't really see that uh behind the plate frame so yeah i'm gonna start uh, restoring this right now wire wheeling and repainting Right guys, finished up uh, wire wheeling this license plate bracket on the W115, both sides, the rust is completely gone. So I'm gonna apply primer and paint to this next. Looking pretty good.
light coat first.